So what we want to do is display the post to the user before they actually delete that post. Okay. Now, instead of redesigning uh, this area right here where we display the post, uh, we already actually have this kind of thing, which is here where we uh, can display our posts like this. So now this file is called post.php, which contains just the segment for the post right here. So we can simply uh, steal from that one and use it to our advantage. Now the problem here is that this same uh, post uh, display contains buttons like like, comment, edit, and delete. So we don't want to be showing these while we are asking someone to delete, if they want to delete this. We might want to show this part, but not that. So instead of reusing this file, what we can do is simply make a copy of it. So we're going to say post.php control paste, control copy, control paste. So instead of post.php, we're going to call it uh, post delete. PHP. So we're going to use an underscore, underscore delete. Now instead of capital letters, we will use the small letters. All right. Uh, now the reason for doing it this way is because in case we have a problem, we want to change the design, we can simply change uh, this file right here instead of going through the hassle of looking at the whole uh, page there. All right. So let's look at what this file expects. So it expects this raw user, which has the user uh, of the, the owner of the post. And then so it also looks for this raw, uh, which has the actual uh, post. So we need to provide these two. Now, in case we don't, let's go back to delete.php here. So right here where we put our PHP tags, we're going to remove what we put here because we actually added raw already. We supplied it at the top there. So I'm just going to do this instead and just say include the file. Uh, include. Like so. So we want to include the post delete underscore delete dot PHP like so. All right. So let's go back and hit the delete button again. So delete. And we have a thousand errors. Oh, I do love errors. They give me an opportunity to fix some to fix something. So what it's looking for is an identified variable raw user. So we start with one of these. So usually what happens is if you fix one of these, it uh, might fix 10 of these and it will reduce very quickly. So let's supply raw user. Now, the raw user is the um, the raw of the that contains the data of this user who owns this post. So let's give it that. So we can do that using our user uh, class. So let's do that and say user is equal to new capital user like that. So we are evoking the user class. And then I'm going to say user uh, not equal to like so uh, get user like that. And then usually we supply the user ID for this. So now the user ID in this case is inside the row. Uh, this row that we got from the post. OK, so if you can uh, remember very well, let's go back to our uh, database. In here, to determine who posted this, there's a user ID. So this is what we're looking for. We want to get that user ID and then get the actual name of that user. So let me come down here. And so the user ID will be supplied from the raw user ID, like so. So then we have to put this somewhere and that will be the row user underscore user is equal to so let me close that uh, console that search so row user is equal to whatever we get from there okay so we just leave it like that and this will use it because now we've assigned it to this so it should stop complaining now let's go back and refresh all right so some errors have gone 
and you can see the user image has shown there which is good and there's a name there which is good however we are looking for another unidentified variable called row so as you've seen it's expecting a capital row capital letters with row but we are using small letters here so i'll simply convert this to uppercase i'll go and say convert to uppercase like so which i need to do at the top here as well i'm going to control d to select all of it and all the copies i need and say uppercase that should sort the problem there we go so are you sure you want to delete this post of course now down here like i said we have these I'm already wanting to delete. I don't want to be able to click delete and all that stuff. So we can delete this from the uh, post delete.php. So let me go down here. Uh, where is this? So that's like comment. So I think up to this point here where we go to the like comment. And so I can delete all of this, including this one here. <laughs> So I have to be very careful when deleting to make sure that if I delete an opening div, I have to delete a closing like the span, 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 span. Pretty good. Okay, let's refresh. And there we go. Nothing down there, which is uh, pretty awesome. And I can remove these bars up here. I don't actually need them. These are inside the delete. Uh, where is this? HRs. So instead of HRs, I'm going to use the break tags, the BRs. Refresh. There we go. So are you sure you want to delete this post? So maybe we don't even need this title here. We can simply ask the question. So maybe delete post here is a waste of time. Yeah, that should be enough. Are you sure you want to delete this post? And then you can click delete. Now delete is too far there. Let me uh, change a few things. It's in delete post down here. Where is this? Mm, why is it so far? Okay. Oh, the button actually is in here. So let's see if there are some, yeah, there's some break tags down here. That's what's uh, pushing everything down here. So let me refresh again and it's much closer but not close enough so what else am i looking at here come back here there's a break tag here as well let me remove that Ooh. okay so this is just basically some design issues and i want the button to look a bit bigger but those are issues we can deal with later all right, so now we have uh, what we need, okay? Now, I need to be able to click this button here. If I click, uh, and it should be able to send me or delete this post as intended. Since there's a form here that we added, when I click here, it's going to refresh. So let's see that in action. Let me click, and it refreshes, okay. So what we want is to be able to delete this post and once we delete the post we are taken back to either the profile or the timeline that's up to you to decide where you want to take the user after that so when you click the post button oh wait a minute there's something i forgot here what we need to do is uh, give some information to post okay so in order to do that, we're going to add, I think I can add it down here. Oh, I can add it in here, that's fine. Let me use this as a template, Control D. So what we want to add is a hidden attribute here, okay? So we have an input of type uh, hidden, which is going to contain, uh, so we don't need the ID, we just need it to have a name so i'm going to give it a name i'm going to say name is equal to post id something like that post id and then the value is going to be uh, the id 
so from the row here the post id so we're going to borrow this a little bit i'm going to say okay what i will do is move it up here because i want or instead of that i could simply put php tags right here and say echo like so and just remember to close them like that so instead of the user id it's the post id we want to deal with so we are adding a hidden field with the post id so that when we hit the post button it's going to appear at the top there so that we know which post we want to actually uh, delete okay now to see if everything has worked well let's go up at the top here so that once we click uh, we get to see some some stuff now down here we can put an if statement to check if something was posted so we're going to say if server so dollar sign underscore server we are looking for the request method underscore method if the request method is equal to post like so then something was posted so we'll do something in here so what i want us to see now is just to print uh, what's inside the post variable so that we can visually see it before we decide to do anything with it and then like i forgot here the error we can check if there are any errors and then um, display those so i'm going to come here just after the the header right there just after the header uh, down here i'm going to add some php tags and close them and then i'm going to ask the question if error is not equal to empty then what we want to do is to echo this error like so so you can design it as you want that's up to you so let me refresh the page click refresh and there we go so i can intentionally remove the zero at the end just to see what happens and there we go uh, no such posts found but this is not good because we still get these errors once the file isn't found so we have to check that before we can actually do anything so down here before we do any of this or even ask the question are you sure you want to so let me move this into the php so that we can add an if statement on it as well so let me use echo like this and then up to the end there okay so here we can ask the question are there no errors right or we can simply ask if row if the row has something right then we move the this part down here even further down here uh oh what's happening mm-hmm let me move them inward like so so we only see this however we have this one down here as well this is why i wanted to put it up here so it can be in that if close at the same time but it seems to be working just fine so no such post was found but this doesn't look very good so what we will do is move this whole thing Let me just delete it from here completely and put it inside this section but outside this other if statement okay so some padding issues there there we go mm -hmm. refresh no such post was found or you can write your custom uh, error message if you want so that the user can go back and click again Oh, sorry, my bad. I went back to this. Document expired. Okay, let me just simply go back to the home page. Click 
profile and then let's go back down here and click the delete and there we are are you sure you want to delete this post why has that moved down i wonder ah because we have a break tag here so remove that break tag add two break tags up here refresh yeah much better up there are you sure you want to delete this post so you can design it as you want and then you can hit delete so now when we hit the delete button what we've done is to check what's in the post so what was posted is just the post id so if someone posted this then it means they are now ready to delete a post okay now instead of handling all that uh, we will let the class handle the deleting of the post okay so we come down here right here and let's create a new class so we're going to say uh, we have the post class already let me check if it's not already created at the top so we have that okay but just to be sure let's move this outside the if statement up to there so that we can use it whether the if is correct or not and not have errors okay so come back here and we're going to say post so we'll create a method called delete post and then we give the id so the id here we'll move that in there if you notice it's inside post id so let me copy that from there and come back here like so so it's inside post id so delete that post so once we delete this post we have to redirect our user now this is why we are doing this at the top here the deleting process so that before we load any html we can be able to redirect the page so let me say header this is how we redirect location full colon and then i'm going to say we're going to go back to the profile.php page because that's the only one we know and to make sure we make a clean break we're going to say die like so now since we don't have this method we have to create it inside the post.php class okay so the same way we were here to get one post we can target one post to delete so i'm still going to just get this one copy it up to down here duplicate Control shift d or Control d on some uh, systems and then we're going to say delete post underscore post i think that's what we yes delete post exactly so in here we have to save this as well this is unsaved All right so delete post delete post sorry and that's the post id so in case this is not a numeric value of course we just return a false right and then down here we're going to say select instead of select we're going to say delete we don't put this down we say delete from posts where post id is equal to one limit one and it's that simple we open that and run this thing and we don't have any results to return because the result is either true or false so we're just going to remove that result part like so if we still want to return something we can just return false or true if it happened but we don't need to know those details so i'll just remove everything like that okay so simple and straightforward let me come back here and there we go all right so let's try and delete this post so let me go back to my profile.php page but let me delete this one that uh, has a security issue this one that has scripts in there so let me click delete boom are you sure you want to delete this post of course and it seems everything went well because we are back at the profile page and that post is missing okay so that's exactly how you delete a post 